the blood pressure. So we have our sensor, control center, and our vector. Mm -hmm. So our sensor is what's called a baroreceptor. Now you've heard that word baro before, like a barometer. Oh yeah. What does a barometer do? Measures. Um, measures what? Temperature, isn't it? No. Not temperature. Pressure. Is pressure. Air That's pressure. right, because it's like what you used to. Okay. Yeah, yes. it measures air pressure. So baro. Yes. So okay. baro is pressure. Pressure receptor. So when we're talking about blood pressure, it makes sense that the sensor is called a baro receptor which they're found in blood vessels. The control center, I think this is as specific as he wants you to get, is the brain. Now, the effect is when it changes. So we, let's go over here, let's say low and high. So both of this is the same for both. Like, okay, so when we get to the effector though, if it's low, Vasoconstriction. That means the blood vessels tighten up, which makes sense. Because when you tighten something up, it causes, it pushes, it causes more pressure. Think of it like a garden hose. You know, the hose is running perfect, and then you put your thumb over the hole to close it up a bit, and now it's shooting more, you know, you can spray farther away. It's the same idea. You constrict to create a higher pressure. So when you have low, you want to constrict the blood vessels. To make less room, you make more pressure. To make more pressure, exactly. Also, heart rate goes up. Because there's more pressure. Create more pressure, exactly. Now if it's too high, that says vasodilation. To dilate, and you know you hear that term often with your eyes, your pupils, it's to open up to open up bigger. So the, the blood vessels open up more, which lowers pressure. When you open things up, it creates less pressure, so it lowers pressure. So it would be like breaking a dam. Yeah, it kind would of. be. Yeah, and then the heart rate goes down. So, is the vasoconstriction and dilation the hormone? They're the effectors. Okay. There's what they're because the blood vessels are doing this. It's it's not really the effect. It's the blood vessels are practicing vasoconstriction, vasodilation. So the blood vessels are the effector because they're the ones doing that. The heart is another effector because it's the one raising its rate or not. There are hormones and nerves that tell that the brain sends that tell the body to do this. So there's not just one in particular, so you don't need to know just one. Just know there's both hormones and nerves that the brain can send to do this. Like to your heart, it can send So those are the effectors, not the actual So you could say the effectors are heart okay. and blood vessels. Okay. But this is what they're doing if it's you know low. And the high. way that they send the signal, you're saying, is by the brain. The, and by yeah, hormones. the way the brain, because you know how there's always like a hormone. Okay. Or, in this case, there's both hormones and nerves that send that the brain goes, okay, we have too low blood pressure. I need to send a signal okay. to increase it. So those are the signals. Yeah, and you can think of a lot of them. Like you'll learn about some of them, like norepinephrine and epinephrine, which is also known as adrenaline, causes blood pressure go up, so you will learn about the hormones and about the nervous system. Have, I think that was already on a study guide, that sounds familiar. Really? Yes. Why is because it I familiar? think that's just the 13 stuff in the current system. Oh, that really sounds familiar. So, any questions about that though?